frames, or you can have one that has 10 frames, or you can have these longitudinal hives that have 30 frames. So these are really, really kind of cool because I can manage the hive according to the size. And so, for example, when I put this beehive together here, this is about the outermost comb they had, and this is all they drew, drew out. So I can keep it consolidated by a moving system here of these follower boards. That's the first thing here is the follower board. And you can see, as they have here, we have them um, top for the uh, supers. And by the way, this is a super, okay? They call it a super because they store honey in it. Or you can have the bigger ones, okay? Which are two sizes of one here, all right? All right. Now, robber bees usually don't sting anybody. You can see I've got my head off as a purpose here too because they're so intent on their purpose here, they're not defending a hive. If this hive was fully occupied, uh, this would be a different story here, basically, okay? So there's still some honey in here. Mm -hmm. they're, they're taking the honey out, okay? That's why they're over here. And you can also see when you take this whole hive apart, okay, and I'll take it apart, that when they uncap the hive, they leave a lot of the cappings at the bottom here. All right, so you can tell that this hive is definitely robbed out. What right? is the black stuff? Black now? stuff right now here too is sometimes the bees will uh, have some pieces of wax drop down here and they've covered it with propolis. Everybody knows about propolis, right? It's yeah, tree glue, it's resin. Yeah. And so that is part of it here too. Here's some hive beetles, okay? They're hanging around here. If you don't yeah. know what those are, those are the cockroaches.